So Emerging Markets Hedge Fund, Greylock Capital, it's filed for bankruptcy protection in New York. That's after three years of losses spurred investor withdrawals. Joining us now for more on the story is Bloomberg's Luca Casigari. Uh, I'm interested, Luca. I remember talking about Greylock a lot when the Greek debt crisis was upon us. What's gone so wrong since then? So uh, not, not, it wasn't just the Greek crisis. They've been involved pretty much in every distress, uh, in uh, every, every distress sovereign debt situation and every sovereign restructuring of the last uh, um, 20 years from Congo to Lebanon. Um, what's gone wrong is um, mostly uh, a general abroad uh, meltdown of uh, an emerging market uh, bonds in 2018. And then 2020 was very difficult for the sector with COVID, and uh, a series of restructurings in Ecuador, Argentina, and then a resolve the defaults in Venezuela and Lebanon, which um, pushed the bond prices down. Um, the grey look was at its peak in 2017, when it had 1.1 billion of assets under, assets under management, 21 employees. Since then, it's been, as you said, three years of negative returns, um, and 2020 ended with a loss of more than 10 percent. Asset under management dropped to 450, um, and then the company got another had another 100 million of withdrawal, of withdrawal this quarter, which forced it to file on Sunday. Um, it doesn't mean that it's shutting down. The Greylock will continue to operate, uh, but um, as the managers say, in this present environment. To, retrenchment, it doesn't make sense to have such a big presence in Midtown with an office which mm. is iconic and costs about $100,000 dollars uh, of rent per month. So the, um, the bankruptcy, the Chapter 11, is mostly um, aimed at terminating the lease, um, Baylor um, renting a new office in Stamford, Connecticut, and um, they will take things from there.